girl, I found my mom's vibrator once. Yeah, it was like one of those old school vibrators, you know, the kind you had to plug in the wall. <laughs> it had like three prongs on it. And I could always tell when she was using it because the lights would dim and stuff. <laughs> so embarrassing when my friends would be over. We'd be watching television. They'd go all fuzzy. And they'd be like, wow, your mom really likes to vacuum in her bedroom a lot. <laughs> they're wrong, ma'am, they're wrong. Don't use them. Vibrators are wrong, they're wrong. I also read the longer you use a vibrator, the less sensitive you become down there. So like one day you're at home using the vibrator. The next day at the hardware store using the paint shaker. <laughs> Men are lined up behind you. Come on, baby. I got some latex paint I gotta shake up. I'll be done in a minute. <laughs> it's not right. It's really not right. Sex is out of control in our country. I'm telling you, it's out of control. I read that there's over 250,000 porn sites for men in the United States of America. Sir, do you understand what I'm saying? A quarter of a million porn sites? That's crazy! They're not good. That's crazy. You know how many porn sites there are for women? Seventeen. Because <laughs> apparently women, if we want someone to talk dirty and nasty to us, we just go to work. <laughs> is out of control, young lady. It's out of control. Last week, a man was arrested in Seattle for masturbating violently in a public park. Do you understand what I'm saying? For masturbating violently. I guess he was caught yelling at his private area. The world doesn't revolve around you! Only my hand does! Sex is really out of control. I blame the internet. I blame the internet. I do because there was this couple in Bakersfield that got in trouble recently for skydiving and then having sex and then videoing themselves having sex skydiving. That's crazy, right? You know, because I have practical questions. <laughs> Specifically for the woman. Like, you know, ha how, how do you keep it, you know, like, you know, like, <laughs> lubricated when you're free falling at 200 miles per hour? I, I can't even do that during a heat wave when the ceiling fan is set to low. <laughs> Things are just too out of control lately. Everything is too crazy. Texting is crazy. Texting is, texting is crazy. I don't want to spend three hours having a one minute conversation. Right? The only reason, and I, and I I'm going to be a little bold here, but the only reason I started, you know, texting is because I had an activity partner for a while. <laughs> and, and we started sexting. That's how I learned to text. <laughs> sexting. And then all my girlfriends saw that I was sexting, so they started texting me. You know, but, but, but at that point, I was like a Pavlov's dog. <laughs> Every time my Blackberry would go off, I'd be like, oh, fuck. <laughs> then I'd read it, you want to meet for coffee? I want to meet for coffee hard. <laughs> oh, my God, tell me you're going to sip that coffee slowly. <laughs> sip that coffee slowly. Now pull my hair and gulp that fucking coffee. <laughs> Can you feel the Arabica beans hitting the back of my throat? <laughs> So I'm a mom. <laughs> Don't get nervous, I'm a fun mom. I'm a fun mom. I let my kids play as many video games as they want to play. I do, I don't care. <laughs> I do. Because I think
think this is going to be a skill that everybody has to have in 10 years to get a job. It is. And if not, this will at least make the ladies happy. <laughs> You happy women in here, awesome. <laughs> I play video games with my kids, I do. I don't mean to brag, I don't mean to brag, but I rock at Call of Duty. <laughs> I rock at Call of Duty. Is it wrong to kill your kid's avatar and then laugh as it bleeds out? <laughs> They're all crying, why'd you kill me, mommy? Because mommy needed a tactical nuke, newbie. <laughs> Walk down and give me 20. <laughs> Actually, you know, the other day for the first time, I thought maybe I let them play too many video games. For the first time ever, I thought that. For the first time, like, I was in a hurry. We had to go to the doctor because the kid had a rash again, you know. And, uh, and uh, what's up with those rashes? Those Anyway, so he's on the PS3, my little one, right? And I'm like, okay, okay, get off the PS3. We gotta go. And, and he's like, okay, okay, let me try to kill myself first, you know. And... <laughs> and I, I was like, all right, and, and you know, but he's messing with me, he's pulling my leg, right, he's messing with me, and then I start getting a little, a little uptight, and I'm like, let's go, let's go, come on, let's go, and he's like, all right, I'm trying, I'm trying to kill myself, right, but I knew he was messing with me, and I started losing my stuff, because I'm a mom, and that's what we do, you know, and I was like, you know, I was like, what's the point of having a gun in the middle of a war zone if you can't take yourself out like he split? <laughs> And then he looked at me, and he said, what's wrong with you? And I said, I'll tell you when you're dead and in the car. <laughs> I, uh, I think the hardest part about being a mom, the hardest part about being a mom, honestly, I'm going to be completely honest with you, is hanging out with other fucking moms. <laughs> I'm not talking about your girlfriends who accidentally have kids. I'm, I'm not talking about those girls. I'm talking about those girls. I'm talking about those girls whose kids go to your kid's school. I'm talking about those women. You know who I'm talking about, right? There's always two or three in the grade. They're all anal. And they have a lot of energy. And they're very organized. And they go on private secret little lady luncheons. Yeah, and they let the rest of the shitty moms know that they're going on a private secret little lady luncheon. They go on vacations together, but their idea of going on a vacation is like, you know, river rafting down the Colorado River during the middle of winter. I say bull crap to that. My idea of a lady's getaway is drinking some shooters, smoking a jive stick. And then donkey show and Tijuana, bitches! A jive stick. Thank you very much, good night.